What I have read in the Word of God is that the fires that we go under are because we do not allow heaven to be within us. And those trials are not from God. Because if they were from God, then, we would, then, then why were we unable to manifest God as we go through them? Our manifestation and deliverance that comes from God does not come through those fires and trials, but it comes from us opening our eyes to the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way to be set free is through the Father, which is Jesus Christ. And to stand forth with a manifestation of the Holy Spirit within our life to where we just do not walk and say, oh, I've been free and I'm happy. But where we can walk and we have that authority and we have that power and we have that fire thrown through our veins. So when we look down and we have that trial come against us, we have that weapon come against us, we have the lies of the world come against us. We don't sit there saying, Lord, deliver me. We say, Lord, you've already set me free. Over 2,000 years ago, by them stripes, I was delivered from sickness. Over 2,000 years ago, I was delivered from the lies of the world. Over 2,000 years ago, I was delivered from addiction. Over 2,000 2,000 years ago, I received the authority to get my children back. Over 2,000 years ago, I received the authority to stand on that pulpit out before a man in the world, minister the gospel, and not just plant a seed, but the Holy Spirit flowed through them to complete 100% deliverance in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That is authority that God's given us. I do not go to God when I have trials in my life. I do not go to God when I have struggle in my life. But I look right smack and I tell the devil, you lying, deceiving, despicable demon, I take authority over you through the power of Jesus, just as Archangel Michael did when he fought for the body of Moses. That's where we're in trouble. That's where we're struggling. That's where we're making mistakes. I'm free. I've been set free indeed. And that's what the Bible says. Amen? Amen. Let's all stand up and bow our heads. I am free and I am free indeed for Christ died on the cross to save me. Everybody repeat that with me. I am free and I am free indeed for Christ died on the cross to save me. Amen. And at this very second, at this very moment, he is at the right hand of God, the Father. At the throne is the King, King of kings, Lord of lords. Everybody put their hands together. Everybody put their hands together. Start rubbing them together. Just for a second, rub them together. You feel that heat? Now stop. Jesus is a man, and if he puts his hands together, he feels the same thing you're feeling. Amen? At this very moment, as we're called to be the hands and feet of Christ, we're called to literally be the hands and feet of, this, of a man at the throne, at the right hand of God, who has feet and has hands. And when he rubbed them together, he feels the same thing we do. The difference is he's the great I am. The great I am says, I've given you authority. Now that's no joke. The authority that he's given us isn't an authority to go out and try to say, well, I've got a little bit and I'm just going to pray and trust the Lord's going to get me through this. He has given us the authority that when the devil puts you through trials and storms, the one thing the devil's going to do after he puts you through them, if you have a true understanding and faith in God, is the devil's going to regret ever trying to put you into that storm. Why is he going to regret to try to put you in that storm? Because he's going to realize real quick that's greater is what's in you than what is in him. And that you have the same authority in you that God used when he cast him and a third of the angels out of heaven. And that's the type of authority that God has given us. We have the authority to cast the devils out, the demon out, the lie of Satan out. The same authority. We're creating the image of God. That's power heads. Lord, I come to your throne room to praise you. I come to your throne room to seek you. And I come to you in need of you, Father. You're the King of Kings, I said. You said, there's not enough words to express your greatness and power and grace. But Lord, I pray today that if anybody in here lacks the authority that's within you, anyone in here today is not living with heaven within them, if anyone in here is struggling with being a believing believer through their walk. Is struggling with the ability, Lord, to step out in faith. And struggling with the ability to have understanding of what they are truly up against. Your Bible doesn't say that we wrestle against you. Or your Bible doesn't say that we wrestle against people in this world. This Bible doesn't say that we wrestle against anything but demonic powers. Demonic powers. And I pray today that you help open us up and open our mind up and open our spirit and soul up to 
receive your fire, Lord Jesus. John the Baptist was asked if he was the Messiah, and he said, I am not the Messiah, I baptize in water, but one to come will baptize you in fire. I am not worthy to even lace his sandals. I pray for that fire within each and every one of our lives today. I pray for that victory in each and every one of our lives today. And I pray for our eyes to be removed from all the wool that's holding us back from this world, to be set free and free indeed. You need a touch from God tonight. If you want deliverance from God tonight, if you want your life to be free, free indeed, free, free, no longer be that. Lord, give me this. Lord, save me from that. Lord, do this. Lord, do that. But say, Lord, thank you for saving me from that. You want to go to his throne, not just to go to his throne, say, give me, give me, give me. But you want to go to his throne tonight and say, Lord, I'm at your throne. Just bow at your feet, Lord. I already felt your blood. I've already felt your power. I've already felt your authority. I'm not going to count to three. I'm just going to say, come to the altar right now. Come to the altar right now.